What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through my leg workout of my current six day split. It is currently 429 and I'm about to start my morning routine. I'm currently on Christmas break, so I have the next two weeks off that I have no work and I'm able to do whatever I want, but I'm trying to create very good habits that line up with my goal for 2023. And I'm trying to create them early instead of waiting until the new year. And the reason why I'm talking quiet is because Adeline and Cassie are still sleeping. Now in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking you through one of my leg imams. So I kinda, when I went through my morning routine video, I gave you guys what a back and bicep EMOM workout looks like, but I'm gonna show you the leg workout um, that I'm currently using for this split because I've had a lot of people comment on Instagram posts that I posted, what, about a week ago, um, saying that they wanted my leg workout. So, lo and behold, I will give you my leg workout. And I'm about to jump into my morning routine. If you have not watched my morning routine video, go back and watch that because you're gonna be, I'm not gonna go into detail about what I'm gonna do. If you want the details, watch the video. So this right here is a, a, the number one reason why I'm a firm believer that you need to start your morning with personal development. Again, I didn't go on social media. I haven't read anything. Um, I haven't really looked at anything. And I'm not even joking. The first thing I read as soon as I open this book, I'm going to read it to you. A little story time. Listen to this. I may even just show it to you because this is like... This is why it's crucial because again, this is the first thing that went into my mind and I don't understand how you could not just want to go out and attack the day after reading this. Obviously, it's from David Goggins' book, new book. It's inevitable for all of us, yet we are not formally taught how to handle unexpected adversity. We have sex education, fire drills, active shooter drills, and curriculum on dangers of alcohol and drugs, but there is no rug just got pulled out from under you class. Nobody teaches you how to think, act, and move when disappointment, bad news, malfunction, and disaster inevitably strike. All the advice floods in only after we are already lying dazed on the canvas, which means it's up to you to cultivate your own strategy and have the discipline to practice it. This goes hand in hand with that reel that I just posted the other day, um, something I was thinking about when I was on my morning run, and it couldn't be more true, which means it's up to you to cultivate your own strategy and have the discipline to practice. Create a strategy, do things that suck, embrace the suck, have the discipline to practice it, and it will make your life a whole lot easier. And make sure you feed your mind before you start your day. So before I get into the actual workout, I want to show you guys uh, the newest addition to my garage gym. It's not a piece of equipment, but it is something that I think is going to be a game changer when it comes to vibe, atmosphere, mood, motivation, whatever you want to call it. And it's probably not what you guys are thinking. But for those of you who do know or have a garage gym, you will know how important this is. And that is lighting. Now I did upgrade the lighting this past week. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube these past months to try and figure out what I want to do. So this is currently what the lighting in my gym looks like. So you can see that there is a good amount of light in here. And now I have two options because it's not all wired the same. So check this out. This is what it looks like. And now watch when I do this. So that's what it looks like. And like God himself said, let there be light. Now that is lit. Literally lit. So the reason why I did that again, I'm hoping that this improves some of the quality of the footage that I shoot in here, but it just almost makes me feel like I'm actually at a commercial gym. I used to work out at 24 Hour Fitness and they had these same like bulbs and I know that because when I was a maintenance guy, I'd have to change them. But I mean, look at this lighting. This is good stuff. There's like light everywhere. Right by the squat rack and then this back corner was super like dark and gloomy in the dungeon, but now it's pretty lit. So I'm gonna get my first workout in and let me tell you, it's about to be lit all right so for today's leg workout again like i said it's not going to be your traditional leg workout but it does get you a stupid pump and it only takes you about 40 minutes to wrap out this entire workout and you're going to hit nine different exercises a lot of volume but it's quick and effective and this is what i'm liking about these certain imam workouts that i've been doing like i already showed you the, the back and bicep one if you haven't already go watch that video so again for this one i'm actually i switched it up it's not 
the same as style as I did for the back and buys, but I really like this one because again, it's a little bit quicker. So it's gonna be a 20 minute EMOM, which again, every minute on the minute. So the first exercise is obviously you start the timer and then you do your second exercise as soon as you hit minute two, third exercise when you hit minute three and you keep going. So there's five exercises. So you're gonna be able to hit each exercise about four times. So four rounds basically for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna kick it off with front squats. Front squats, I got 12 reps. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm gonna go into body weight squats and I'm gonna do 20 reps. So obviously a lot more reps, but it's just body weights. So it's not gonna be quite as heavy, but you'll start feeling it. Then the next set, I'm gonna do split squats with, so for this one, I'll use dumbbells. And I got eight each leg, so total of 16. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm gonna go straight into box jump overs. I started doing these last week, um, and you'll see from the video, I absolutely suck at them. Um, I could do a box jump pretty pretty decent. Uh, I actually used to be really good at box jumps. However, a box jump over, I don't know what it is. I think I lost all athleticism, um, but I suck at them, and you'll see from the video. But when it comes to these workouts, the reason why I'm doing these workouts is because I'm not very good at them. Um, and I am a firm believer that you see more growth when you do things you don't want to do. Like I know a lot of people that like will love certain things about working out, whether they love hypertrophy, power lifting, or even uh, CrossFit, they love those style workouts. And that is why they go to the gym because they enjoy them. Now I'm a firm believer of that. I got you know certain workouts that I enjoy doing, but I am also a firm believer that in order to see growth, you've got to do stuff that you hate. And in order to get prepared for what happens outside the gym, like life, I think it's a very good habit for you to start doing things that suck in the gym so that when it transfers over to your real life situation, when you face something that sucks, it's not as sucky. Again, my last exercise is going to be leg curls and I'm going to do a set of, I'm going to do a set of 15. So let me change that. So that's another reason why guys make sure you keep everything on a, on a spreadsheet or document or in your phone or something. It's very easy for you to track. So for, this is going to be the first EMOM. And then I'll break, stop, take about a two minute rest and jump into the second EMOM. So again, 20 minute EMOM, front squats, 12 reps, body weight squats, 20 reps, split squats, eight reps each leg, box jumps, 10 box jump overs. So you jump over the box up, jump, and then 15 leg curls. So I'm gonna set up the weight. I'm gonna go through one round, basically warm up the joints, warm up everything, and then I'll jump straight into the actual lifting. 20 minute EMOM, leg day edition. Now let's clock it. So when we're so 
all the positivity I feel like we all just hate on everything, it's killing me Thoughts build quick, causing different possibilities Negative thoughts will cause different disabilities So do better, work hard under pressure If you got no time, work smarter than ever Don't ever let them tell you that you can't ever say never And turn your mind into the truest to go get us Never stop, I'll get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah You know I'm always honest There ain't no way I'm never stopping I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah So the first thing mom is done. So in between you moms, like I said, I get a, basically about a three minute rest. And I'm gonna jump into my second 12 minute EMOM. But one thing I like to do as soon as I finish that one is document and recap some adjustments I would make or things I would keep the same. So for front squats, last week I only did a 95, or I only did 95 pounds, and then I did split squats with 95 pounds on the back. So this week I did the dumbbells because obviously I went heavier on the um, front squats and I don't think I'd be able to do that on my split squats. So problem is, is the split squats with dumbbell felt super light and I don't feel like it was as effective as the barbell split squats. So what I'll do next week, what I may do is I may keep 95 pounds, but I'll do 15 reps to make it a little bit harder and then I'll keep the 95 pounds on there and I'll do the split squats. So I'm gonna put a note in that and then that way I can make adjustments next week and I don't waste another workout. Because if you guys have been following the channel, you know that I'm a huge believer of recapping and reevaluating what workouts you do and making adjustments. I'm constantly making adjustments, whether I'm switching out uh, actual exercise, I'm changing weights, I'm changing rep ranges. I'm constantly making adjustments to make sure that I'm actually seeing progress. That's where most people fail. They don't keep track of anything and then they plateau for a very long time and it gets mundane and it gets boring and then they just don't wanna work out. To keep it exciting, I like to keep track of it. So front squats I'm gonna change. Body weight squats I felt fine. They again felt lighter, but I think they felt lighter because of the split squats. Then box jump overs, what I may do is I may actually raise it next week. I think right now it's at 20 inches. I may try 24 next week. Leg curls, I'm gonna increase because again, it felt a little bit light. All right, so I'm gonna re-rack all these weights and then set up for the next exercise and then I'll let you guys know exactly what I'm doing for that. All right, so for this 12 minute EMOM, it really should be called a finisher because it absolutely just destroys your legs. So first exercise, again, every minute on the minute. First exercise, I'm gonna do kettlebell front squats, 15 reps. As soon as I'm done with that, I'm jumping into cross or Cossack squats. Now, for those of you who have never seen these, um, they absolutely suck and I suck at them. I need to definitely improve on this, but I know it's a great mobility um, and single leg leg workout, so I'm trying to get better at them. Um, so I'm gonna do eight each leg, I'll show you. And when you watch the video, maybe YouTube a proper way of doing them because I don't even think I am doing them properly because of my range of motion, something I'm also working on. So I'm gonna do eight each leg and then I'm gonna jump on the bike. I'm gonna jump on the bike with a, a heavy resistance on my bike, it doesn't have an actual scale. So I just basically crank it up to an RPE of like seven and I go for, today I got 45 seconds. So I'm gonna go all out on the bike. As soon as I'm done with the bike, then I'm gonna jump into my last exercise, which is leg extensions, and I got 15 reps. So again, 12 minute EMOM, four total exercises, kettlebell front squats, 15 reps, Cossack squats, eight reps each leg, bike for 45 seconds, and then leg extensions for 15 reps. Again, I should get through each one in about 12 minutes for three rounds. So last exercise, or last EMOM of this leg workout. So let's make it happen.
leg day is done. First official workout with the lights. I'm definitely a fan of them. So I'll actually probably be doing a review here on them just because I feel like a lot of people, I know me, people with garage gyms, we got a couple people on the channel who have a garage gym. They're always looking for upgrades, so I will be doing a video. I'm actually gonna be doing a, a full gym tour. Um, that's probably gonna be my next video because Again, I know a lot of people have been wanting to see an actual gym tour. My gym is always evolving and I'm always adding things to it, but I think it's time for a, a video. But anyway, that being said, so that is my one of my leg workouts from my current six day split. So I currently am doing push pull legs, right? Um, but the way I break it up is I basically do a push pull legs, like hypertrophy style, bodybuilding style workout. And then I do a push pull legs where it's EMOMs and more of like a hit style cross fit type of workout um, and on those days unfortunately since the workouts are shorter because again that one only took me about 45 minutes um, and usually I throw in core also which even if I do that it's only about a 50 minute workout so if you guys are looking for a quick and effective way to get in and do legs and you could scale it back if you're a beginner workout like what I'm doing with my wife she's wanting to get back into the gym so what I did with her is I did the same style workout so for all you females I do the same style workout but she only does the first Imam, and she started at 30 minutes. But again, you could just do the, the Imam at 20 minutes, see how it feels, don't kill yourself, get in a rhythm, and then in, add maybe the second Imam as you progress. So again, the thing I like about this is one, it's quick, effective, and efficient in getting in, hitting a body part, and getting out. And you know how long the workout's going to last, which I know from like my wife, who's getting back into the gym, that's one thing that a lot of people struggle with in the beginning is, I don't want to dedicate an hour or an hour and a half to the gym. I just want to get in and get out. And that is a great way to start building because if you are able to get into the gym, do 20 minutes and build that habit consistently, once you get the 20 minutes down for like two weeks, then you increase and you start adding stuff and you start making the workouts longer and maybe incorporating it another day in the week as you progress. So I love these style workouts because it's a great beginning, intermediate, intermediate and even advanced style workout depending on what level you're at. So unfortunately though, that's just the strength part of the workout. So now I gotta go hit a three mile run. I'm not gonna record that because there's nothing exciting about a three mile run. And one, I'm just getting back into actually running and incorporating cardio about three miles. I'm trying to hit about 15 to 20 miles a week. Um, and then once I get there, I'll probably build off that. But I'm enjoying it right now. So I'm not pushing it super hard. I'm enjoying just the, the you know, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. So anyways, that wraps up this workout. Give this workout a try, leg day workout. I will be uploading a little bit more um, in the weeks to follow because I know a lot of you guys have New Year's resolutions. So if you guys liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I drop uh, videos every single week. And you guys already know the motto, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, don't be average. Now go destroy your legs.